three types of radio emissions, as I told you just now, okay? So if the nucleus is unstable, it will release three types of emissions, huh? okay? Some will just release one type, some will release uh, another type, or some, sometimes they can re uh, release both uh, two of the three, okay? So we don't know. Okay, the first one is called the alpha, eh? alpha emissions. Now, what is an alpha emission? It's a particle, okay? It's a particle. And alpha particle is a nucleus of helium. It's a nucleus of helium. Helium, it consists of two protons, two neutrons, and two electrons. This is helium, eh? okay? Uh, if we remove the electrons, remove the electrons, eh? leaving the nucleus, okay? Leaving the nucleus, and uh, the nucleus has two protons, two neutrons, eh? and this is called the alpha particles alpha particles okay so alpha particles is the nucleus of helium okay without electrons eh? okay and the symbol is uh, he eh? helium two four this is a proton number this is a nuclear number so alpha particles consists of uh, two protons and two neutrons eh? neutron carry no charge proton carry positive charge so therefore the charge of an alpha particles is two positive Okay, two positive. So uh, alpha it carries positive charge, okay, because it can uh, it contains protons but no electrons. Eh? It has uh, most strongly ionizing of the nuclear radiations. Okay, what does this mean? Eh? It means if alpha particles it pass through something, it will ionize that uh, medium. For example, uh, let's say we have air here. Okay, air here. If alpha particle pass through, it will make the air carry positive and negative charge particles. Okay, it will ionize the air. It will ionize the air. Okay, so we say it has a strong ionizing power. Okay, and uh, among the three radioactive emissions, uh, alpha has the strongest ionizing power. It's most strongly ionizing of the nuclear radiations. Uh, it's least penetrating. Uh, this radioactive uh, radioactive emission it can penetrate to object. Okay, it can penetrate through object like papers. It can penetrate uh, sometimes uh, uh, metal uh, metal sheet. Okay, or a concrete wall. Eh? Okay, it can pass through or it, or it can penetrate through this object. And for alpha particles, the penetrating power is very low. Is least penetrating, eh? okay? Uh, it can be blocked by even a piece of paper, uh, or just a few centimeters in air. So it can only move a few centimeters in air. So range in air is only a few centimeters, and it can be stopped by a thick sheet of paper. Just one piece of paper, then you can stop it already. So the penetrating power is very low, but the ionizing power is very high, and then it carry positive charge, okay? So this is the properties of uh, alpha particles that you need to know. Uh, first, you need to know its nat uh, the nature. It means you need to know that it's a nucleus of helium. Eh? Nucleus of helium, two protons, two neutrons, and the charge is two positive. Beta. Okay. Beta is a high speed electrons, not just normal electrons. Okay? It's a high speed electrons, the electrons that move very fast. Then it become a beta particles. Eh? Since it's electron, eh? therefore it carry negative charge. And it has less ionizing than alpha particles. Uh, compared to alpha particles, less ionizing. But still, still it can ionize. Uh, it can ionize the medium that it passes through. But the ionizing effect is uh, lower. Okay, And it's more penetrating than alpha emissions. Alpha can only move a few cm in air, right? Or it can be blocked by a piece of paper. But uh, beta, okay, it can penetrate to a few meters uh, in air. It can move a few meter in air, and then it can be stopped by a few mm of perspex or aluminium. Just a few mm, okay? Just a few mm of aluminium, not paper, okay? Aluminium or perspex. Perspex is like a glass, okay? It's, it's, it's like a glass, it's transparent, but it's not a glass, it's a plastic, okay? Transparent plastic, yeah? it's perspex. These beta emissions can be stopped by a few mm of perspex or uh, aluminium. Means that the penetrating power is uh, 
quite high actually yeah considered quite high okay but still not very very high uh, quite high so moderate penetrating power but less ionizing compared to alpha emission and you carry negative charge and the symbol uh, okay the symbol is like this okay the symbol uh electrons okay negative one zero zero means that it has no protons no neutrons uh, no protons no neutron but the proton number shows a negative one. I will explain to you why later, why the proton number is negative one. Gamma. Just now we learned that alpha is a nucleus of helium, so it's a particles. Beta is a high-speed electron, so it's also particles. Huh? Then how about gamma? Gamma is not particle. Instead, it's electromagnetic wave. Okay, it's wave. Huh? It's wave. It means that it has no mass. Huh? It has no mass alpha beta yes it's a particle and it has mass and it, copy, uh, it, it occupies space uh, but gamma is not particles uh, it's just electromagnetic wave uh, usually okay gamma emission is emitted at the same time with alpha or uh, beta particles the ionizing power is even lower compared to beta okay ionizing power uh, alpha is the highest beta moderates and then uh, gamma Okay, has the lowest ionizing power, okay? But the penetrating power is very high. It's the most penetrating. It can never completely stop by anything, okay? But uh, if you use uh, a few centimeters of lead, a few cm of lead, eh, okay? Uh, then you can uh, greatly reduce the intensity or the percentage of the emissions. Maybe you can reduce it to less than 1%, eh, but you cannot totally stop it. Okay, so a very high penetrating power, but very low ionizing power. Now, since it's electromagnetic wave and therefore it carry no charge, eh? so the charge is zero. Alpha, the charge is positive too. Beta, the charge is negative one. But gamma, the charge is zero, no charge. So that is the uh, a brief introductions to alpha, betas, and gamma.